Today, I'm going to build an adjustable single LED strobe light circuit using a few basic electronic components. To start, you'll need a 1000 microfar capacitor. I begin by applying a small amount of solder to its positive terminal to prepare it for connections. Next, I take a BC547 NPN transistor, which will act as a switch in this circuit. I carefully solder the emitter pin of the transistor to the positive terminal of the capacitor, ensuring a secure electrical connection. Then, I apply some solder on the negative pin of the capacitor and on the collector pin of the transistor. This setup allows the transistor to control the current flow through the LED based on the charge and discharge of the capacitor. Now, I take a standard 5 mm LED for visual output. I solder the LED's negative, shorter, pin directly to the negative terminal of the capacitor and its positive pin to the collector pin of the transistor. After placing the LED, I trim off its unused support pin to make the circuit neat and compact. This step is optional, but helps improve the overall presentation and safety of the build. Moving on, I solder the middle output pin of a 5 kilo ohmer potentiometer to the negative terminal of the capacitor. The potentiometer acts as a timing control for the blinking rate, adjusting how quickly the capacitor charges and discharges. Next, I solder the ground pin of the potentiometer to the negative terminal of a 12-volt battery, completing the control loop. This ensures the potentiometer can correctly regulate the base voltage of the transistor. Finally, I solder the positive wire from the 12-volt battery to the positive terminal of the capacitor to power the entire circuit. With all connections made, the circuit is now complete and ready for testing. When I connect the 12-volt battery to the circuit, the LED lights up immediately. Then, as I gently turn the knob of the potentiometer with a small screwdriver, the LED starts blinking. Rotating the potentiometer clockwise or counterclockwise changes the flash rate. Turning it one way increases the blinking speed, while the opposite direction slows it down, allowing full control over the LED strobe effect. This project is a simple and fun way to learn about timing circuits, capacitor charging, and basic transistor switching. It's ideal for beginners and great for experimenting with strobe lighting or visual signaling effects using just a few low-cost components. If you found this project helpful or interesting, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching.